Good morning, Neverland. So we are just about five or ten minutes away from leaving our apartment in Daegu forever. It's a very sad, well, bittersweet day. We're very happy to go home, but also very sad to leave. Hey. And Liam, oh, Liam, that is X-rated, buddy. Liam's butt is going to make it on YouTube now. But you can see all the empty rooms. Goodbye, empty rooms. And here's our bags, ready to go. We're making our journey home now. Yay! Yay! We're so excited to see family, but it is surreal. When we turn off this light, it'll be for the last time. This apartment served us very well. The biggest kitchen we may ever have in our young adult lives, maybe even our entire lives. We'll see. We'll see. And we're hopefully going to take this monkey chair home. This is oh, one of the remnants of Korea that we want to take back. We think it'll be cute with Liam's room because he's going to do the monkey theme. Good so. Luck. Cause he's a monkey. He's a monkey. Cause he's a monkey. He's, he's, he's got a the monkey. That's his leg. He likes to put his leg up in there. <laughs> it's, not it's not a tumor. It's not a tumor. It's not a tumor, Liam. Put that cookie down. Put that cookie down now. <laughs> Who told you you can eat my cookie? <laughs> so uh, we're just gonna sign off now from the apartment. One last goodbye from Daegu. Do you have? Maybe we'll do that on the bus. The next time you'll hear from us, we will be on a bus headed towards Incheon and we'll probably check in with you a little bit there and also show you our hotel which I'm sure will be like every other hotel in Korea but we'll show it to you anyways and then tomorrow we fly home so we'll try to capture as much of that as possible but signing off from Daegu love you guys Daegu you've been good to us bye Daegu we'll miss you we love you we hope to come back and visit someday when you, this little man's a little bit older right say bye this is my hometown bye Daegu I love Daegu bye hey honey where are we? almost in Incheon we're arriving in Incheon and you can see way off in the distance the huge bridge that we're about to go over bridge I've ever seen. And this little guy has been an angel the whole way here. It's insane. He's, He's literally slept. For four hours. He ate, then slept, then ate, then slept. And just now he's starting to wake up. I mean, it was like unreal. I'm sure everybody here thinks he's amazing. Because I do. I am amazing. He's amazing. Now, if you can just do that on the 13-hour flight tomorrow, we'll oh be Oh my this. gosh. We'll see about that. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Man, that bridge just goes on forever and ever and ever. It never ends. I remember it when we first came here, too. It was, like, it. intimidating. It is. So, are we on it right now? We're, like, on it, yeah. It like goes on forever. I think we're on it. <laughs> yeah. Put your hands up, we're on a roller coaster. Put your hands up. <laughs> Put your hands up. Oh, you got it. You got my mom there. Japan Airlines has taken on a number of cost cutting measures. We're going to get to that in just a second. What else can you get? Its competitors will also point to the fact that it received a waiver of about $6 billion in debt. And also got an injection of about $4 billion from a government backed initiative. Japan Airlines, for its part, has discovered that he can touch my face. He's touching and feeling my face. But yeah, it was certainly a big milestone for the airline today. Is he scared? So, where are we, honey? The we're in the hotel in Incheon. We're in our hotel in Incheon. And um, got in at like 3.30. We got free shuttle service from the airport to our hotel by our hotel. It was awesome. Um, they gave us a crib for Liam uh, while we're here in the room. And the best news of all, Liam was an angel. 
angel. Was an like absolute angel for four hours. Literally ate and slept, ate and slept, ate and slept. Show his face. It's so cute right now. Say hi to the YouTube world. Liam, say hi. Say hi, YouTube world. You talking? Oh, really? Then what happened? Then what happened to those chickens? What happened? Okay. But we're going to hang out tonight, maybe order in some food, and then in the morning, go to the airport, and we fly back to America! Woohoo! And Liam will be in America for his first time. So let's just hope the passport stuff all works out and we don't have any hiccups tomorrow. So, But we'll keep you posted when we get to the airport and we're on the plane when we land in America. Stay tuned. So we are doing our last little bit of exploring oh Korea. Gosh, that's so weird, man. Isn't that weird? It's freaking Oh, man. We're in our little the neighborhood where our hotel is in Incheon. Hit by a cab, babe. And I'm about to be hit by a cab. Yeah, but, we're gonna try to see if we can find some souvenirs. Yeah, we we've been here for 13 months. Whoops. And we have just not been able to find souvenirs. There's just it's, not a lot it's, of stuff in Korea that you want to take home, like well, yeah, traditional it's like, stuff, like stuff you would get. And like my brother brought me some cool stuff from India. It's just a lot of, I don't know. Well, it's hard because there's not small souvenirs that are like traditional Korean things. And it was one of those things where we were, we went, we went on a ton of trips, in the, you guys know, in the first few months we were here. And there was like trinket after trinket after trinket of cool souvenirs we could have brought back for our family, our yeah. parents, grandparents. And we were just like, ah, oh, no, let's not do it now. We're just going to have it in our house for, you know, a year. Let's just wait. Let's just wait. We'll have time. Well, we don't have any time. So now we're spending our last night in Korea trying to s rummage up a couple of souvenirs. Yeah, we're, we're hoping gonna, maybe the airport will have stuff, but they're going to but they're going to probably yeah, the airport will probably rip us off big time, so. We're hoping that maybe we'll like run into some random <laughs> like just trinket store or like some <laughs> random thing or like a pawn a Korean pawn shop. What? How sweet would that be? Like samurai swords. Oh, sorry, that's Japanese. That's wow. embarrassing. <laughs> I've been here for 13 months and I still haven't learned. Yes, you have. Oh, I know, I'm just like kidding. We're, we're walking, looks like we're walking into the countryside. I don't know if there's stores cool, that though. can be. But I don't understand the stores over here. We'll let you know if we find anything. First of all, we're going to eat chocolate milk. Second of all, look what we found. We found Hello. the water. And it's pretty. And this looks like, I don't know, it could be a park or, or nothing at all. It could be a good campsite. I bet it's your camping. Yeah, oh, there's like those little bases for tents. Those little, those little, uh, like little table tent things. That's what I was just saying. Oh. Yeah, camera, did you see that? Did you see it, camera? Sorry, that was really sarcastic. I'm so mean to be sarcastic. Look how beautiful this is. Nice find. Don't let the sun go down on me. Cause when I wake up, I'll be flying home to Kentucky. Oh, nice. Hey, nice rhyme. The beach. The beach. Oh, there's a beach. I'm on a beach. I'm on a beach. Take a good hard look at Korea's beach. And all the trash. And all the trash. And the lacu. And a random shoe. It's actually nicer than Chilpo. Mm -hmm. It's not as much trash. Not as much trash. What is this feeling? What is this wind? The Liam's love of God help me. Wow, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, Korea, I will miss you. We love you. 